watching Ayana, some of my pre-recorded um, shows I'm trying to catch up. And I am just really, really just thankful to God that he allowed me to raise my children. And uh, my testimony to you, to you single women, to you teenage mothers, don't let go of your children. You are the light of their life, and they are the light of your life. And even if that man walks away from his children, don't belittle their father. Hold on to God's unchanging hand and let those children know that you love them. You don't need mama, grandma, or anybody to raise them. When I think about what I should have did as a single mother. Okay, to be continued. Okay, so as I was saying, mothers, mothers, period, and even single fathers, let's not badger our children. Half of the things that's going on with these children today in this world could be because of us. If your child is living, you need to reach out to your child and ask for forgiveness. For every time I got irritated because I was upset due to a man, and I took it out upon my, up on my children, and I called them out of their names, B words, everything, just because I was stressed and upset, and all they were looking for was for the love. And now they're grown. So you can't go back into time. That's not the way God put this here. We have to love our children now. Love them now. Ask for forgiveness. And saying I'm sorry just shows we're sorry. Be forgive. Ask for forgiveness. And that child that's striked out at you, there's a reason why. Listen to why. A lot of us just want to say, forgive me, or I'm sorry, and we don't want to talk about it anymore. We don't want to know why I hurt you, how it made you feel. But these are things to healing. I want my children to be totally healed. I want them to forgive me, which I've already reached out to them to let them know that I want to be forgiven, to forgive me. And if they on my page and listening to my logs, forgive me, children, sons and daughters, forgive me. And I know you guys will say, <clears throat> Mom, you said that already. I cannot make any excuse for anything that I did or said. All I can do is go from here and have your forgiveness. And you've already asked me to forgive you, so I forgive you. And all we can do is hold on to God and go forward and not start over, but Hey, today's another day. So let's stay before the Lord. Let's love our children. Fathers, love your children. If you can't be with the father, can't be with the mother, just still love your children. Let them know when you're coming in from work and you're tired. And I know I've been there. And hey, my children are gone now. They're on their own. I have one, she's away at school. Same old, same old. You still come home tired. So just let those children know, even if they live in their own homes. Pick up the phone, tell them you love them, send them a text. I prefer just calling them. I think texting is cowardly. Um, 
but hey, where's the love? Where's the love? And when you ask for forgiveness, ask for forgiveness with all of you. And what I mean by that is by saying, forgive me. I'm sorry, does not get it. And then listen to why and how it affected them. Because these were the reasons why their actions and some of their actions are still going about today. So if you have a voice, you have a phone, you're able to see that child, pick up that phone, go to that child, embrace them and ask for forgiveness. I'm telling you, it's the breakthrough. We got to get it together, especially in our race, our young black women. Oh, we think that the key is to have a baby by a man to keep them. And they have another agenda. And we have one. And we have another one because now we want to show the next woman where I have his kids. He'll always be in my life. So many women today are miserable just to have a man in their life to say they have children by him. And he doesn't even deserve a father award. So you didn't accomplish anything. You just had all these children. Me too. And um, each one of us have a different story. But hey, it's about let's love our children. Let's be a part of our children. Little kids, big kids. If you got little kids, hmm, I dare you young women. I don't care if you're a 16-year-old mother. I dare you from 16 on up to 85 that you call your child and they can hear in your voice and know that, oh, this is the apple of my eye. I can't wait to see her. Or when you're coming home from work or they're coming in from school, hug them and love on them. I dare you. All right. I just had to share that. It's time for us to do better. Bye-bye.